It seemed like a regular day until the unthinkable happened. I was coming from work, I had trouble breathing, so I stopped the car. It's like uh, my lungs was full of water and I couldn't breathe. I was really scared, I was really scared. I knew, I knew that something wasn't right. Luckily, Kunle Abiodun was near a hospital when he fell unconscious. So when I got to the, into the ambulance, they asked me for my P number, my phone and everything. And that's all I could remember. As my spirit left my body, I saw them trying to resuscitate me. Pressing my chest, trying to put a lot of injection on me. When I saw myself, I felt, wow, is this, it? Is this it the end of my life? Once Kunle got to the hospital, doctors frantically tried to discover what was causing his crisis. It was then that his wife, Linda, was notified about his precarious prognosis. The doctor said that um, she's going to put him in a comfortable position and put him on a ward. And as soon as she settles him on the ward, she would call me in to have a look at him. And then she called me up and by this time he had been put in the high dependency unit took me up to see him and I looked at him and I saw loads of you know tubes going through him. He was on a ventilator. He wasn't breathing. The ventilator was pretty much breathing for him. Medical records confirm that Kunle suffered two cardiac arrests and was clinically dead for several minutes while emergency workers did their best to revive him. I just knew my spirit was going through a tunnel. A very dirty, slummy, full of maggots, full of spiders. It's just really, really horrible, horrible place to be. And I saw her, two big men, like the gladiators. I don't think they're six footers, they are over six footers. When people are coming, they carry the person and take them to a very, very far place until I don't see them no more. They come back, they take another person, only two of them. I tried to talk to them, I tried to ask them what they were doing. They had a, they didn't answer me. While unconscious, Kunle met a series of supernatural characters, and he was confronted with the shocking reality that even though he was a believer, he wasn't certain if he would spend eternity in heaven or hell. Tall one, he was rolling a kind of tennis ball. I really truly believe that the ball represented my soul. So the bigger one just decided to say, no, I'm not going. I'm not going to give you the ball back. As doctors scrambled to discover what was behind Kunle's cardiac arrest, they warned his wife Linda to prepare for the worst. So I stood there looking at him, not knowing what to do. And then she took my hands out of my pocket, told me to put my hands on him, because as far as she was concerned, this was the end for him. I then took my hands off him, put my hands in my pocket, got my mobile phone out, took a picture of him, and she looked at me in amazement and she thought, Are you, have you lost the, the plot? And I said to her, I said, this will form part of um, his testimony when he's well. And then she said to me, I don't think you fully understand. I don't think he's going to make it. It was later discovered that Kunle had acute pneumonia and that the buildup of fluid in his lungs was causing his heart to stop beating. At first, they didn't think I was going to make it. But when this prayer started coming in, I started recovering quickly. The doctors couldn't believe it. Meanwhile, in the spirit realm, the prayers were also helping to turn things around. So he looked, he looked back and he threw the ball back to me. I thank God that he gave the ball back. If he didn't give the ball back to me, I would have been dead. Evan and Ellen is real. The last message that the supernatural characters gave him was very clear. Go and preach the gospel, win souls, and be all you can be for God. If you believe in God for a miracle, just look at me and know that with God, all things are possible. Indeed, all things are possible if you believe. So get ready for an encounter with God. Also, if you have a testimony, fill out a testimony card today so that you can encourage someone else's faith.